Range 26 million receding. Lieutenant. Can't be. Check it. And tell control. Oh, just how long is this going to take? Is it or isn't it? It's pretty complex, sir. Times, courses, trajectories, the interplay of G-forces. Result sequence. Trajectory 042326 cyclic. Lunar G variable, 7 over 5 decimal 4. Computer predicted power loss, 70%. Orbit fading, 0.4 GRT. Predict impact lunar grid reference B182. Moon base to control. Positive. Thank you, Lieutenant. So the UFO's headed for the moon? Yes. It doesn't have enough power to escape the lunar G-force. It must have been damaged. Oh, you were asking about Foster's chances of survival. I'd say they've just improved. They must be down to a million to one. still maintaining its trajectory. Good. Just as long as it continues to head for the moon, do nothing. But if it manages to develop enough power to pull away from lunar gravity, launch your interceptors and destroy it. The astronauts are in position. They can be spaceborne in seconds. Fine. Now keep me informed, Lieutenant. Roger and out. Do we have a closer fix on where it's going to land? Yes. Uh, grid reference 182084. Hmm. That's about 40 kilometers. I'm going out there. Tell Moon Mobile One to stand by. Yes, that's fine. We'll be in the area in eight minutes. Keep me informed of the UFO's progress. Yes, Lieutenant. We're in position. Area confirmed. Two minutes from impact. Sixty seconds. There it is. It's going to crash. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one.
Will you ask Jackson to come in? Yes, sir. Well, what's the situation? Well, I've just had a long conversation with Moonbase. The situation is a very difficult one. Colonel Foster's general physical condition is satisfactory, considering what he's just been through. But he's in an alien spacesuit. He's breathing liquid. Well, we can make the transfer back to normal breathing. Huh. Oh, come on now. You've done it before. Yes. With aliens, Alec. And none have survived more than a few hours. It's an extremely hazardous operation. We've by no means perfected the technique. There's another difficulty. Here at Shadow Headquarters, we have every facility. On Moon Base, the equipment is naturally more crude. Well, I'll be monitoring the operation by video link, if you'll excuse me. You're going to have to help me with the helmet. Listen, Alec, Paul Foster's in top physical shape. He's an expert skin diver, used to underwater pressure. You think that background may help? Well, I'm no doctor, but I'm sure it must be an advantage. You could be right. Strong lungs, good respiratory system. Sure. He'll pull through. Come on. Set here, sir. Right. Now, listen carefully. As I see it, the main problem will be panic when the helmet is removed. Colonel Foster has been breathing liquid for some hours now. Drugs will have been used to help his lungs adapt. Now, when we attempt to reverse to normal, the physical experience will be similar to drowning. Unless this moment is carefully controlled, the patient could go into convulsion and possibly choke. Let the colonel know the situation, right? If you can hear me, nod your head. We're going to remove your helmet. Try and maintain your rhythm of breathing. Whatever happens, don't panic. Do you understand? What is that? Two cc's of petrochol. It should help, I hope. Is the resuscitator ready? Yes, sir. All right, Lieutenant. Begin.
take hold of him. Now. Stop him struggling. Passed after a few minutes in the sauna bath. A few minutes? Here, drink this. Tell me, Colonel, have you been uh, burning the candle at both ends recently? Well, there was a party last night. A sauna can be considered as a medical aid, but there's one golden rule never take one if you're feeling under the weather. Hmm? I should have told you. Well, there's nothing to worry about, Colonel. You're in good shape. You'll be in even better shape when you leave here. Tomorrow we'll get down to some real work. To me, starlight and dewdrops. Beautiful dreamer, wake unto me. Starlight and dewdrops are waiting for thee. Who's the voice? In the dream box. Dream box? That's Colonel Foster. He had a Lulu in there yesterday. Come on, Frank Jing. If all else fails, I'll remove that blab around your middle surgically. Gone are the cares of life's busy throng. Beautiful dreamer, come wake unto me. 
beautiful dreamer come wake unto